guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be testing out all high-end makeup products. So if you would like to see how I got this makeup look right here, please keep watching. So I'm super excited to be sitting down and filming this video. Testing out new makeup products is some of my favorite videos to film. Although everything in this video is high-end, so I don't have any new drugstore products in this video. Sometimes I do like dedicated, like full face, first impressions drugstore makeup. Other times I do like a mix up of drugstore and I and high-end. So I decided that today's video would just be like all high-end because it's been a while. The first thing I'm gonna be trying out is the Tarte Base Tape Hydrating Primer. Oh, it's really, 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 really runny. It has like a coconut scent to it. it. Smells like it to me anyways. So for it being really runny, it does like get sticky like pretty quick. For foundation, I decided to bust this guy out because now I'm finally tan enough. This is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and I'm going to be using the shade Sand. I haven't worn the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in a really long time so I kind of forgot how I feel about it, but it looks really nice. I think it looks really nice on top of this Tarte Base Tape Primer. For concealer, I'm gonna be trying out the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Concealer. I have the shade Porcelain. So it does look pretty light. I'm just gonna see if we can make it work. Oh, oh this Dofa is weird. It's like a regular Dofa, but it's rounded instead of pointed. It's a little stiff. So I'm going to press that in with my Japanese concealer brush. It's just kind of like a fluffier concealer brush. It doesn't steal a lot of the products so I like to use this sometimes. So this is definitely not a full coverage concealer, which I think I knew that. I prefer to wear like a light to medium coverage foundation and then use a full coverage concealer. So if I was going to use this concealer again, I would definitely use like a salmon corrector first and then go on top of it with this concealer because I just need extra coverage underneath my eyes because my I don't really have bags but I have veins that you can see but the concealer is really nice it kind of reminds me of the Maybelline fit me I guess we can see if we can build it up a little bit so let's try that I mean it does look like you can build it up I think this would be a really good concealer for those like no makeup makeup days. So now I'm going to be trying out the Urban Decay Naked Skin Shape Shifter. I'm probably the last one to try this. So there is like a powdered side. So there's a highlighter, then like a powder to set your concealer, and then like a contour shade and a bronzer shade and a mirror. And then if you flip it, there's a cream side. So it looks like there's contour like a concealer shade and there's like a pink shade right there I should have used this underneath and then there's like a more like orangey shade so there looks like there's two concealer correctors a cream highlighter um, maybe like an actual concealer shade or like a brightener which we might try and then the cream contour so let's go ahead and try out this this shade right here let's see hold on let's touch it first Ooh, it feels really nice and I'm just gonna pat that underneath and maybe we can get a little bit of coverage and a little bit more like brightness under there. We'll see, it feels really creamy. I'm just gonna kind of place it with my finger and then go with my sponge and see. Mm. I feel like it's kind of lifting up that Becca concealer, so maybe that's not like a good idea. So let's try the cream kind of contour bronzer shade. And I'm going to use this Real Techniques Sculpting Brush. 
Ooh, I like the shade of this. It's like a gray warm undertone. The only thing, I feel like I can't really fit my brush in there. Ooh, I guess we're really going to uh, cream contour this forehead today. It does blend out really easy though. And I do like they have like the cream side and then they give you a powder side to set it. I really, really like that. Then I'm gonna take a smidge of it and do my nose. We'll see, it might be too dark. I think it blends out so nice. And I'm just gonna go over everywhere that I put it with the sponge. I guess we'll go ahead and try out the cream highlighter too. I'm gonna just going to use my ring finger. And just place that on the high points of my cheeks. So I'm going to set my face with this new powder and then I'm going to come back to this shape shifter palette and then I'm going to go in with the powders. So I found this at Ulta. It said it was new. It's from Lancome. Lancome. It's in the shade Translucent and it's the Long Time No Shine Loose Setting and Mattifying, mattifying Powder. Container's pretty big. It does come with a poof. Let's see how much product you get. You get... 15 grams. So more Mercier, you get 29 grams, so about half. So that's what it looks like. It looks like it has a little bit of like a pink tint to it. So I'm just gonna take my Morphe E41. And I guess I'm just gonna set my whole face. The powder feels really smooth. I think it looks really nice. I feel like it mattified my skin without like making me completely matte because I do have dry skin. I think I did I think it did a good job without like overdoing it if that makes sense. Let me know if you guys use these little poofs that come in here. I'm just curious. So back in with the Urban Decay Shape Shifter Palette, I'm going to take this shade over here as bronzer and then go back in with this shade for like a contour. So I'm just going to use my Morphe E3, my favorite bronzer brush. My only complaint is like I feel like it's hard for my brushes to fit. Ooh, that is really pigmented, like more than I thought it was going to be. It is a warm bronzer, but I like the shade. And again, it's blending out really nice. Oh, it's really pigmented, like a little bit goes a long way. I should have calmed down a little bit. I'm just gonna dust a little bit of this on my forehead. Look how pigmented that is. I barely put my brush in there and it is like Well, I am super bronzed. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this Luxie 1010 Small Contour Brush and I'm gonna go in with the shade right next to it just to see. I just wanna add a little bit. Not like I really need, I don't really contour my cheeks anymore. But I wanna try as many shades out of this palette. And then I'm gonna switch to this. I have no idea what this is. I think it came in like an Ipsy, but it's just like a slanted like eye crease brush, but I like to use it for my nose. And I'm gonna take this shade and just add a tiny bit on my nose. I 
Ooh, I said tiny bit, which it was a tiny bit, but it's so pigmented. Oh my goodness. So let's go in with this kind of matte cream shade. I'm just going to try to like buff around my nose. Just to diffuse that super dark brown line. And I think I'm going to use this cream shade to set my concealer. Hopefully that goes okay. I'm just going to make sure I don't have any creases, which I do. And I'm going to use my Morphe M536. I'm just going to dip in there and press that on my under eye. Looks like it's starting, like the foundation or something starting to come up off my nose. I don't know what it is, but I feel like I've had so many problems with my nose lately. Like this whole year, I cannot get foundation, concealer, or cream contour, anything to like hang on to it. I don't know what is going on. I'm not too sure how I like that cream shade in here to set my concealer. Although I like the other shades, I just don't, I'm not a big fan of that one. So now I'm going to go in with the highlighter shade, bust out my Smashbox fan brush. I haven't used this in forever. Ooh. I wasn't quite sure what I was going to think of that highlighter, but that's gorgeous. super pigmented. That is so pretty. For blush, I'm going to be trying out this Too Faced Love Flush. This is in the shade I Will Always Love You, and it says it's long-lasting 16 hours. I thought it'd be really pretty for the summertime. It has little bunnies on there, and it says Too Faced, but it's kind of like a peachy shade with a little bit of like a gold sheen to it. So it doesn't look matte to me, but we'll see when we put it on the skin. And I'm going to use my Morphe E4. Ooh, that's pretty. So this is definitely going to be like a go-to blush for me because this is like the, seriously, like a shade that I would grab all the time. I love peachy blushes, but especially in the summertime, I like ones that have like sheens in them and this one does. It's gorgeous. I'm just going to add a little bit more. I love blush, as you can tell. So now I'm going to use the Lancome powder to just like bake underneath my bronzer contour. It's like the holes are almost too small. Like sometimes the holes in these powders are too big and it's too much powder, but these, this one's too small. So I'm going to go ahead and let that bake for a little bit and I'm going to fill in my brows off camera because I don't have any new brow products, but I'm just going to use my Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Blonde, this ColourPop eyebrow pencil, I have no idea what the name of it is, and then I'm just going to set them with my Model in a Bottle eyebrow sealer, so I will be right back. It is so hot in my house, I'm dying. I even have the air conditioner set at 75, like, oh. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe off this bake. I really like that powder. Look at it. It's just so like smooth. I'm just going to blend in all of this. So I'm going to go ahead and set my skin now before we move on to eyes. I cannot remember if I've tried this, so I, if I have, I apologize. But this is the Laura Geller Spackle Mist Prime Set and Refresh. So I'm going to be using this to set my makeup today. Um, I really like the Laura Geller Moisturizing Spackle Primer. I use it all the time, so hopefully I like this. I think it gave my skin like a little bit of a glow. I was expecting it to be like a more matte setting spray. The sprayer is a little aggressive, but it's not like terrible. 
So this next product, I'm sure I'm the last one to try as well. This is the Kylie Royal Peach Eyeshadow Palette. This is what it looks like and it does come with a brush. So I think I'm going to do kind of like how she did when it first came out where she did like the orange on top and then the blue on the lower lash line. I think that's what I'm going to do. Although this brush, this would be a good crease brush, but I need something for like all over transition. So I'm going to use this Morphe M504 and I guess I'm just going to go in with this first shade right here. It's going to kind of dust that all over as like a transition shade like a soft matte peachy shade Ooh, it's pretty though I swear when I don't wear makeup for a while my eyes water so bad it's so annoying I'm gonna go in with this like true peach shade right here it's really pretty looking that in the crease and like a little bit on the lid so far so good it's gonna deepen that up Now I'm going to try out her brush that came in the palette and I'm going to take this like darker peach shade over here in the corner. I'm going to pack that directly into my crease. Okay, I like this brush for the crease. It's dense but it's still soft at the same time. I think I'm going to pack this on the outer V as well. And I'm just going to deepen up this entire crease area. I think I'm going to do like a cut crease with one of these peachy shimmery shades that's in the palette. So I'm going to make sure I deepen this up. Now I'm just going to go back in with these two peachy shades that we used for like our transition shade. I'm just going to add a little bit more of those into my upper crease. Now I'm going to take this shade right here and I'm going to apply that with my finger all over my lid. Just to have something there for the cut crease. It does have a shimmer in it, which I couldn't tell. I mean, we're going to cover it up anyways, but I want to use as many shades as possible. Just to see the formula, but so far so good. Just remember, didn't people say this palette smelled funny? It doesn't smell funny to me, but I think people did say it smelled like chemicals. It's probably like the packaging. I doubt it's the eyeshadows. So I'm just going to take a little bit of my P. Louise base. This is the shade 2. And I'm going to do like a little bit of a cut crease with this top shade right here. I forgot how creamy this base is and I totally took that up way too high. I guess we're going for a Jessica Rabbit eyeshadow look today. Oh my goodness. I should really calm down before I get too crazy. I think that looks pretty even. So now I'm going to go in with that shade right there on the corner and put that on top. See what that looks like. I'm using a Morphe M166. I think the shade I wanted to use for a cut crease is just like a little bit too dark. You can't really see it. So I failed at the cut crease today. I knew the time would come when a cut crease didn't work for me and today just happens to be the day. So let's see if we can fix this. I'm gonna take the Kylie brush that came in the palette and wipe it off. I'm gonna go in with this shade that we used for our lid. Let's 
see if I can diffuse this cut crease, kind of get rid of it a little bit. At least these shadows blend over on top of that. You would never even know I tried. So yeah, I'm just gonna add a little bit more of that pink. And back in with that shade and I'm gonna put that kind of in the center. And then the dark shade down there to deepen up the outer V again. Okay, I fixed it. So doing a cut crease with that shade was not ideal. So for the lower lash line, I'm just gonna take the blue shade in the palette and just put that all over my lower lash line. I'm gonna start off with this little tiny Luxie 141 brush. Okay, so I'm gonna pack the color first and then blend it out. It's really blue. Sorry, you guys probably can't really see me do my lower lash line. So I'm just going to pack that underneath there with this little brush and then blend it out with that first peach shade, I think. I'm just gonna take this angled Luxie 111 mini flat angled brush. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of that first peach shade just right underneath that blue. And then more of that blue shade. Ooh, this is a really good brush to smoke out the lower lash line. It has like a little bit of like a metallicness in that blue. I like it. So there isn't like a matte highlighter shade in here. So I'm just gonna take the one from the Urban Decay Shapeshifter palette and use that for like a brow and inner corner highlight. This is so pretty, oh my gosh. Um, so I wanna see if I could skip out on lashes today. So I'm gonna be trying out the Tarte Tartist Mascara. This is what it looks like. I'm not sure if there's like a proper name for it. So I'm just gonna curl my lashes real quick. Ooh, that's like a spiky wand. Ooh, I like this. It's like lengthening and separating them. I think I'm gonna have to go over some lashes though, cause it kind of made them, it didn't really keep the curl up. I think that mascara would be really good with like a volume mascara and then use that on top. For my waterline, I'm just gonna take a little bit of this Tarte Silk Amazonian Clay Eyeliner in the shade Navy. And I'm gonna add this to my lower lashes. It's really hard to use that for the lower lash line, so I'm gonna use this Rimmel Lash Accelerator. For lashes, I'm gonna apply some of these Ardell Demi Wispies, and then I'll be right back. Lashes are on. So now we just have lips. I feel like I have a love-hate relationship with these Wispies. Like, sometimes I feel like they look really good, and other times I feel like they're just like, meh. So the last thing we're going to be trying out is this Natasha Denona liquid lipstick in the shade 8. This is what it looks like. So I'm going to line my lips first. MAC Oak. I thought I remember that looking a little browner. Like I'm going to go in with a little bit of this Italia 
brown lip liner. Now we're gonna try this baby out. It's really, really runny. It's like all over the wand. Okay, that wasn't really the color that I was expecting. <laughs> I mean, I guess now when I look at it, it looks a little peachy nude, kind of. To me, it looks more like a pink nude in the tube. It's a really thin formula and it dries really fast. I like this. I actually really like the shade too. It's just not what I was expecting, but that is a really pretty nude shade. So now that I'm done with my entire makeup look, let's go ahead and go over everything that we tried out and I'll let you guys know my final thoughts. The first thing we tried out was the Tarte Base Tape Hydrating Primer. This is definitely something that I think I'm going to be reaching for because I like hydrating primers, especially since I have dry skin. And I really like this. The only thing that I was kind of like eh about was that it was really runny, but I like that it kind of dried down, not super fast, but faster and it got like really tacky. Then we tried out the Becca Aqua Luminous Concealer. This is okay. I feel like I would like this concealer with a full coverage foundation. That's kind of how I do things around here. I do either like a light medium coverage foundation with a full coverage concealer or I'll do a full coverage foundation with a light coverage concealer. So I think that's how I'm going to be using this guy right here. It did remind me a lot of the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer almost to the point where I do like this so I don't have any complaints but they're so similar I would almost just buy the Maybelline one because it's like what probably like a fourth of the price of this maybe even cheaper then we have the Urban Decay Naked Skin Shape Shifter Palette I really like this next time I wish I would have looked at it before I sat down but I'm excited to try out that kind of pink salmon shade right there I really like that they put a cream side and then a powdered side so you can set them I think the powders are like super pigmented so a little bit goes a long way my only complaint is like my bigger brushes like don't fit in this but i really like this i think this would be really nice to travel with it's kind of like a two-in-one then we have the lancome long time no shine loose powder i really like this too this powder is so smooth i just really really like it and if i remember right they only had two shades so they had this shade and then like a darker shade i know this says translucent but sometimes translucent powders like lighten up my foundation but i like this next we have the kylie royal peach palette i really like this i like all the shades i think they blended out really nicely i don't have any complaints the only thing i wish there was like a shimmery kind of cream white shade in there for like a brow highlight or something and there's not but that's the only thing that i would change but this is a gorgeous palette i love the eye look that i came up with minus i failed at the cut crease but Next up, we have the Too Faced I Will Always Love You blush. I love this. This is going to be like my go-to blush for the rest of the summer. Like, it's so pretty. We have this Tarte Tartist Mascara. Um, I like this. It's really good to separate the lashes and stuff, but I would need to pair this with like a Too Faced Better Than Sex, like something that would give me volume, and then I could go in on top of this to separate. But by itself, mm, and I cannot use this on my lower lash line. Like, the wand is just too, like prickly then we have the natasha denona number eight liquid lipstick i really like this see now i'm confused because now when i look at it to me it looks more pink and then when i first put it on i thought it looked more like a peachy nude but i really like this it's super lightweight it dried down really fast and i can't even feel it like on my lips and it's like a really pretty nude shade and then the last thing that I tried out was the Laura Geller Spackle Mist. I really like this. I thought at first it gave me kind of like a dewy glow, but I think it dried down into my skin. <laughs> and now it just looks like a normal like makeup setting spray. Like it reminds me of the Urban Decay All Nighter. And I like this. 
So I'm pretty sure that's everything that I tried out. I'm looking at my face. I feel like this pregnancy brain, I'm <laughs> like all over the place. I'm pretty sure I went over everything that I tried out and I'm really happy with how my makeup turned out. So as always, let me know if you've tried any of these products in the comments below and what you think. Please subscribe if you haven't already and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this makeup tutorial of first impressions and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.